Yo people, welcome back to another video. Today is part two of the Robbie and Miguel debate. Today's video is simply why Robbie deserves to win the Sekai Taikai. If you haven't already, go check out my Miguel video after this one. The link will be down below in the description. Drop a like on this video as well. Comment who you would prefer to win the Sekai Taikai and sub to the channel as well. I'd massively appreciate it as we close in on the 800 subscribers goal. So let's start with point number one and we'll start with the obvious one, which is it's Robbie's turn to win. Now me personally, I prefer Miguel to win, but for the story, in life of never give up and your time will come, Robbie would suit this perfectly here with a W. He obviously had an injury in the first All Valley and was very close to winning it. Season 4, I won't lie, I think he had that one but he lost concentration because of Kenny, he was conflicted about being in Cobra Kai and just in general he didn't feel right. I feel like the storyline kind of messed him up and gave him a reason to lose on purpose which felt kind of cheap if I'm being honest. I think Robbie should have won Season 4, especially since Hawk winning Season 4 led to to absolutely nothing. Now the Sekai Taikai is surely his time to win it. He's primed, he's ready, he's team captain, so it would only make sense if he clutches up now at the third time of asking, third time lucky. His story is for those that feel like no matter how hard they try, they'll never win, they'll never be the main event, the main character, or for those in life that just feel unlucky in general. So after missing out on two finals, can he finally get the job done? This story would wrap up perfectly if he couldn't do it at the All Valley, but he pulls himself together, he gets himself up to a higher level than he's ever been, and he clutches it up at the biggest stage of them all. My next point is simply from nothing to something. Now with Robbie, we've seen him start out as a bum with no future, just wasting away his life with idiot friends and no one to guide him in season one. Since then, he turned it around for a decent period of time with Miyagi-Do, although he initially joined out of revenge, but it was exactly what he needed anyway, so it actually helped his character. Unfortunately, he then acted out of rage and nearly killed Miguel, which got him locked up in jail. When he comes out, he joins Cobra Kai again out of rage, out of anger, out of revenge. However, this time, Kenny proves to be the catalyst that wakes him up. And he goes back to the light and he stops with all the hate and the anger towards those that are trying to help him. Yes, he's kind of flip-flopped sides across four seasons, but he's finally found himself. He's finally forgiven his dad and everyone that he hated along the way. He's put all the sulking and all the tantrums behind him for the most part, and he's here to show the development, the maturity as a person and as a fighter. Unlike Miguel, he won't be going to college, so it also serves as a story for those people who aren't successful in school, that not doing well in school doesn't mean that you're going to be a failure in life, and if you don't go to uni or college, it doesn't mean that you're going to be a failure either. As long as you keep striving for something, it's never too late to make that thing that you want come to you. My last point is his bloodline. Now, Johnny Lawrence, he is a multiple-time All-Valley champion. Karate is in his blood, clearly. Robbie will want to replicate his father's success in some way, shape, or form. And this is realistically the last chance that he's got at being successful in karate. Now, like I've said, I think the losses have only shaped him up for this highly anticipated win. If he had won any tournament before, I don't think his momentum would be this strong within the fan base, and I don't think we would have got this level of Robbie, so up to this point you could actually say that the elves have shaped him into being a better person, having patience and belief that his time will come. So yeah, overall Robbie's journey has gone from absolute bum with no future to look forward to, then he joins Miyagi-Do, starts learning to behave, learns the key fundamentals of just being a good person, having that guidance in his life, being the first student for Miyagi-Do in this series, which then leads on to more students joining after he has a good All-Valley performance, unlucky to lose in the final. Then he kicks Miguel off the stairs, goes to jail, joins the dark side pretty much, joins Cobra Kai, reaches another final and loses, but then he learns to put all the hatred aside, all the negativity aside, joins Miyagi-Do again, and is now in the peak of his powers with both sets of Dojo's abilities learnt, and hopefully he can use that in the Sekai Tekai to pick up the W as the team captain. But yeah, as a Miguel fan, I can respect Robbie's journey, and if he wins, then fair play. I still think Miguel is going to win the men's side, but... Remember, they are both on the same team, so there's no need to go on this die-hard argument in the comment section and all of that. Just because you like Robbie or Miguel, it doesn't mean that you have to argue and get all aggressive and everything and try to force people to like the character that you like and make them have to root for them as well. Having the differences is what actually makes fandoms interesting, because if everyone liked the same thing, that would be dry. So appreciate each other's differences. You can debate, you can argue civilized, but just keep it respectful. And like I said, I think this show will definitely have a way for both of them to win and get their shine at the end. 
But yeah, if you haven't watched the Miguel video, link is down below in the description. As always, drop a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you root for more out of Robbie and Miguel? Sub to the channel if you haven't already. It is massively appreciated. And we are now three days away. So yeah, we will be there. I hope to see you there soon. Thank you for your time. Have a great rest of your day.